In previous videos, we have explored a lot about the attribute table. We've joined data, we've calculated fields. We've filtered this data with selecting by attributes. But another powerful thing you can do inside of Arc Pro is get summary statistics and summary other things using the statistics and the summary tools for our data. So I've got my data still up, it's all still joined and happy. What if I just wanted to know some, some basic statistics about say, let's do our area here. What if I would know some basic statistics about the way that area was distributed, means all that kind of stuff. Well, once again, with the power of a right click, you can open up all of these options. There's calculate field and calculate geometry. We've seen those before, but statistics is the one that we're interested in today. So we're gonna right click and use statistics. And that pops up this lovely video. I guess it's not a video, it's a, it's a window. This lovely window on the right-hand side here that tells us some statistical information about our data set. I can see means and medians, standard deviation. I can see how many I have, various values, even get skewness and kurtosis. Kurtosis is my favorite statistical word. I can change the number of bins that my data is in for my graph down here. I can even show a normal distribution if I'm interested in that. If you're into more fancy statistical methods, you can transform your data. You can do all kinds of stuff, all with a simple right click to get the statistics of your data, means, medians, all this kind of awesome stuff. If you really like this graph, you can change the formatting of it. You can change the style. You can give it a title, all those good graph things that you want to do. Though I do think nothing against Arc Pro. I do think you can still make a better graph in your favorite spreadsheet software that you might use. In addition to statistics, so we right clicked and did statistics in that case. In addition, we can do summaries. So let's do summary on uh, one of these groupings we have. We have all this status, all these country status as of 2007. I don't know why I have such an old data set here, but it's part of the fun. One of the things I can do is summarize based on a characteristic within my attribute table. So say I was interested in how the different country statuses, uh, how many there were, how many countries are there, how many territory of France are there. I can do that with the summary statistics tool, which we just call summarize when we see the right click. Um, let me close out of that real quick to show that again. So I'm on my status column. I'm going to right click and hit summarize. What am I summarizing? Countries. I want to know, let's say for my status field, I want to know the count. So I'm going to summarize how many countries, how many different statuses there are. Stati? How many status, how many different countries there are of each status? Hit OK on that. We'll note that we get another table here on the left. And when I open that table, hmm, one UN member. Oh, you know what? Look at that. In all of my clicking, I seem to have accidentally selected Canada. What did I say in a previous video? One selection. Many of ARC's functions will run only on what you have selected. So because I just had Canada selected, there it is. It only ran my summary on that selection. Always clear your selections when you are doing work. Let's get rid of that table. We don't need that anymore. Let's try running that again. We're gonna summarize on statistics. It's gonna be status. I'm gonna do account. Okay, runs it again, sticks it over in my table of contents. Right click, let's open. Oh, look at that. So now I can see that I've got four Australian territories, bunches of non-self-governing things, France, New Zealand, the UK, the USA, Commonwealth and Poland, all these different types. All of which 
are now summarized for me. Now, this is just a table. We have lost our spatial link, but sometimes you don't need the spatial link. Sometimes you need the table to be able to share the summary of something or share your analysis of something. So we've played with summarize and statistics here to learn more about our data inside of an attribute table of a shapefile.